Good afternoon, guys, and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. Guys, today we're gonna knock another item off of our to-do list. One more item. Uh, if you haven't checked the previous video, definitely check it out. We we have a lot of I'm gonna call them honeydew lists, but it's not really a honeydew list. It's it's just a list of things that we need to do before we take our next big trip. Right. <laughs> Several videos, I've mentioned this before, we were out, you know, doing our Big Bend trip and man, there was a lot of washboard roads and things like that going on. Right, there was a lot of rattling all over. A ton <laughs> of rattling, a ton of rattling, and I'm going to tell you one of them culprits, and I know exactly which one it is, and it's that dadgum <laughs> rotopack mount in the back. That was, it was terrible, guys, it I mean, was. honestly, it was terrible, and I got to carry fuel on these trips and things like that, but, well, that's because the Jeep guzzles gas, but... <laughs> One other thing that I was concerned about on this trip uh, with all the rattles and things like that was our eight switch source control system by Apollo Intech. This thing rattles, look at that, and it's sitting right here next to the computer. As but, well as yeah, right up against those brake lines. I don't know if you guys can see that. So the brake lines are right there. You can adjust it a little bit here, and then you have all your wires to your accessories right there. And honestly, yeah, I was really worried about it. Um, I never checked it. So I'm not sure if I was worried that much. <laughs> but I, when I got home, I did check it and everything looked fine. But I think to, you know, give me a little bit of peace of mind so I don't have to worry about it. Right. I um, fabricated a bracket. It's written all over my face The I'm buzzing all around All over town Yeah, there couldn't be a better day It ain't nothing but an easy feeling Got a stroke and swagger in my I think it's going to work out. We're not really sure. We're going to find out here in just a few moments. We're actually going to install it. But let me kind of give you the idea of this bracket. The idea is this bracket is going to be installed like this. So you see there's a screw here. I'm gonna take this screw out. I'm gonna wedge this in between that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in some 3M automotive adhesive right there. And then I'm gonna set that right underneath. Yeah, something like, something kind of like that. And I think it's gonna hold up. I'm not really sure. We're gonna find out here in just a minute. And honestly, it really, truly didn't take me that long to make that bracket. No. You guys didn't. saw the footage. It was really easy. I actually used a piece of cardboard to template that first just to see if it would fit. And then, you know, painted it, it up. I painted it at the same time I painted the brackets for the brake line extensions. Yeah. All right, enough rambling on. Let's get this little fella installed and see if it's going to work out. Let's go. You ain't seen nothing yet. Ain't seen nothing yet. Shout out from the roof, the gospel truth, this happiness can be replaced. I just keep on getting stupid lucky, never even had a doubt. Tell me what you heard, I got the word, let me show you what This might be the shortest video I've ever made. <laughs> that was quick, it was easy, and it's really surprising because 90% of the time, things do not go our way right here on Bubba's Garage. No. But guys, this lined up perfectly Perfect. i mean the lines here and the mount up i mean everything well it looks like it was over a little bit different here 
Um, but that's about it. And I got news for you. This thing's not going to go nowhere. It, it's solid. So I'm pleased with that. I don't know. Have you guys ever used the Apollo Intech source control systems? I'd like to hear your comments and your feedback. We've installed three. Three. Three of them right here on Bubba's Garage. We've done the eight switch. We've done the six switch. And we've done the four switch. Four switch is currently installed in Bobby's 2016 Jeep Wrangler Black Bear Edition. I'll leave a link there in the eye in the sky. And of course, if you want to see this installation right here on the 2017 Winter Edition, well, the link will be in the eye in the sky on there as well. And honestly, we did install the six switch on this exact same vehicle as well, mm -hmm. upgraded to the eight switch. Been really happy with them. I hear they've changed a couple of things in their design. Um, I don't know. If you've installed one of their new ones, let me know your comments and your feedback there. Um, value for the money is definitely in this unit. We've been really oh, happy absolutely. with it. absolutely. So guys, if you have the eight switch source control system and you have this little floppily thing going on, uh, let me know, leave some comments down below. I'll take a couple of measurements of this and send it out to you. And maybe you can fabricate this bracket uh, yourself, make it work yeah. out. And I, I'm pretty pleased with it so far. All right, guys, if you like this video, do me a favor, give us a huge, huge, huge thumbs up. And if you really like this video and you want to stick around <laughs> to find out what happens next, right here on Bubba's Garage, please subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody. Good night. Tell me what you heard. I got the word. Let me show you.